Hey, welcome everybody. So, uh, with kind of the recent bookshelves of Shane, I've got a lot of feedback on AT43. And I told you guys during the uh, videos that I had some of the miniatures that were featured in the book. And I guess the one thing that kind of surprised me was how many people had not seen or heard of AT43. So I thought I would break out my miniatures and just kind of give you guys a showcase or a gallery of AT43. So let's just get started. We're going to jump right in and then um, we will, we will uh, you know, I'll discuss the, the miniatures as we go okay so the first thing i'm going to do is show you guys the uh cards because i had actually forgot that the game came with cards for the figures even though i did show you i think that their stats were in the book so you don't need the cards but i will show you the cards just in case you know obviously i can't get to all the miniatures or this video would be much too long so this is giving you an idea of what you get not these if I remember were sold in boxes so you kind of got a lot of the same in a box because they were they were a unit like those Spetsnaz commandos that would have been one unit now this Krosny soldier or soldier that would have probably been a separate box that I bought so and then look at this guy look at that's like he's got a maximum machine gun he's carrying from his hip shoulder fired rocket and then these kind of colossus little manned mechs and you will see some of that when we we get to the miniatures under here but i will also show you the cards for uh i think they're called the, the una so i think that is a flamer Assault Rifle Flamer, yeah. That is a Flamer. Missile Launcher. He has a Combat Knife and Assault Rifle. So you got a lot of them. This guy has a Volcano Machine Gun. Wow. This guy has a Jump Pack. Sniper Gun. Wow. So he is a sniper that can hover above the battlefield and snipe off your enemies. This guy has a missile launcher and a jump pack. A laser gun. Yeah. So this was like near future. So most of the weapons are things we're familiar with. Laser guns and uh, machine guns. But every now and then things like the mechs. And the, uh, why did I say laser guns? Flamers, flamethrowers, and machine guns. And every now and then, laser guns show up. You know, that are actually deployable. Now, this one says he has a missile launcher. But that doesn't look like a missile launcher to me. Although, it doesn't look like a machine gun. That's kind of odd. So, that is their version of a missile launcher. That's pretty cool, I guess. It's like a missile launcher squad. You can tell I never played these, and then these are some for the, the mechs. So there is a Defender Snake. Two of these, two Defender Snakes. So I will show you some of those if I have them. Let's see what else we got back here. These are just some panels, so this shows you what would have came in the box. And I don't know why I kept these. Because I was about to, I was thinking maybe I kept them for the painting reference. So that was a Medic. But I was thinking you, I didn't, I didn't need to paint them. So I'm not exactly sure why I would have kept them. But, uh, yeah, these are the red block. That would have been their box. They got a medic too. So there was even rules for a medic in here. All right, let's get inside these papers and see what we got. Now, this was something I did not even remember them coming with was well, some terrain this is a container defender incorporated so that might be the company you saw one of the mechs was called defender snake 
So this is real nice. I didn't know I even had that. I would have used that in a game. Here is the, uh, I think these were the, is it the Colossus? And these are different. So I think this is one of the bigger mechs. Looks like he might have flamers, incendiaries. They both do, actually. It says Colossus. Whatever you do, do not ignore the paint jobs and the work on these miniatures. I mean, the barrels on their back, the decals. Even if you look at some of the uh, sighting uh, reticles, you can see the uh, kind of the filament of plastic that was put in there. Things that you just don't see even today in miniatures and even in big Kickstarters. That's why I'm telling you, if they had done this today, right? They were so ahead of their time, all of these guys would have made a million bucks. I mean, the company would have made a million bucks. Because people would have easily paid, pledged $100 or more for these sets. Look at that medic. I mean, look at that. That is wonderful. And so I was showing you the scale. So we'll get that out of the way. Let's take a look at a few more troopers. Most of these are what the cards had. But I want you to see them in the flesh as much as possible. So that's a rocket, you know, shoulder fired uh, rocket. That's a huge machine gun. I don't even remember what the name of it was. So those would be my, those would be my Russians. Uh, and just to show you something else, which I just noticed, this actually moves. So these move, right? You can rotate them up or rotate them down. My goodness, my goodness. Uh, I did have one casualty. So somehow this character or trooper's head got detached in all the years that they've been in storage. But uh, that was one reason I had the paper in here is because hopefully the head wouldn't have escaped when we were moving it. So hopefully it's still in the box somewhere. The next row, yes. So we get to our UNA and they obviously, they have bigger mechs. Look at the decals. I mean, look at even how they did the rust images. I don't even know who they used to do these, but I'm telling you, whoever's doing these Kickstarters now is not using the same companies. Right? So when I see games like Nemesis with the waxy looking miniatures and games like Zombie Side Invader, I can't help but laugh what people pay for that crap. You know, because what they will do in a game like that is they'll give you a box of these, you know, and then, uh, you know, maybe one tiny mech. And then what they'll say is, well, here's the stretch goal. You know, if we get to a million bucks, you get one of these in your box. These guys gave it to you right out the bat. I mean, this was like right out the bat in, in a lot of their their deals. Now, these all, I don't know if all of everything I got was in one box, but I'm saying this was all pre-painted. And this was all sold where you could get units and a mech and stuff. Write what you want. And this guy looks tough. So did I show you guys? I don't know if I showed you the jump troops. But you got to take a look at their, uh, their jet plumes. Yeah, and actually the miniatures have held up pretty well for all these years. This is another one. Now this is not the Defender. I forgot the name of this because this is actually a two-part mech. Which, and there's no driver in here, but you could model one in there. But then this goes on like that. And I think I, I undid it because I had to store it. But these are obviously missile ports. They got a full rack. <laughs> Locked and loaded. You could either bring down a bunker, bring down another mech, bring down a building, bring down an airplane. So let's see what's in these other ones. I have not even pulled these off carefully. 
So we have, oh wow, what is this? So it looks like you could have swapped out the heads. So I've got a whole bag of heads that you could swap out. Wow. I'm telling you, I did not remember this. So that guy that's missing his head, all I have to do is pick one. I'm trying to see if they're all painted. Or if these were unpainted. Maybe something I bought later. No, they're all painted. Wow. I did not know that. So... That makes me feel a lot better. I mean, these things are customizable. I can't believe this. So those look like some more red blocks. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Focus. Some more UNA. All right, let me see if I've got some I haven't showed you one of. This one looks different. And this one looks different. So he's kind of moving tactical. You can tell they're red blocked by the stars on their caps. So those are red blocked anyone else we haven't seen here's a I think a una now this looks more like the missile launcher that he has those other guys look like they were wielding laser rifles so i'm not sure that might have been a mistake on the card This one doesn't want to even focus. I think you can make out what he's doing. Yeah, that one, that's weird. It wouldn't focus. Step away and put another one up here. why the focus is not working let's see what's in the next side okay so these are some more terrain pieces that i either forgot about or didn't know came with it i had so these are like searchlights which are excellent you can do them in a compound and i found another bunker this mean another uh container this one says una and Look at this thing. Look at what the heck is that? Now this is I think one of the Therians. Kind of like bio biochemical, biomechanical uh max. I don't think it opens. But man, looks like it does everything else. That is an amazing model. And let's see, I think I got a few Therians. These I probably picked up later. Because I don't even remember buying Therians. I remember the Red Blocks and the UNA because I always thought I could use them in other games. So these are your Therians. Kind of a, a Borg type of race. I don't have many of them and most of them are pretty much the same. This is one with some type of weapon. Uh, I guess that's like one of their biochemical anti-tank weapons. Alright, so then there's some UNA in here. Which you've seen, but I don't think I've showed you these guys. What are they? So these look like some basic troopers. I don't know why. I guess it's like the gray doesn't want to show up. Because it'll do the Therians. But it won't do these guys no more.
so let's try this again yeah there we go that's that's as good as I'm gonna get he's got these night ops and I think that's one of the heads that you can replace because he's definitely got some night vision on there so that's that side that was a nice surprise and we got a small little corner here oh okay and guess what <laughs> Oh, that's not it the camera's about to go I got a little too excited uh, I found the guy's head I think this is the uh, the red blocks head which is good because I think the other ones weren't red block those heads I had in the back but the last thing we have are some barricades just standard barricades I think I got a handful of them now, to be honest with you, I think I must have gotten rid of some of my AT-43. Which I'm going to be honest, because I thought I had some of the uh, Carmen's, which was the eight factions. And I don't see any of them in here. So that tells me I must have sold off, sold off kind of the eight factions. Probably because I didn't think I'd, I'd play them, or either because there was a good deal on them. But if I find them, we will do another video, guys. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that, kind of that look at the uh, AT-43. I mean, I know these miniatures still show up. I don't know how much they go for, but uh, yeah, take care, guys. So uh, tomorrow I will be putting up the next installment of the Bookshelves of Shame, which will be fantasy. God bless. Hey guys, for today's loot drop, I am going to be giving away this copy of Dust Warfare, which is allows you to play games at dusk as a traditional miniature game without using the uh, mat that came with the box game. So there's a lot of pictures of miniatures and there's a lot of stats here in the rule book. So you can even proxy in uh, figures or characters if you don't have the, the particular one that you're looking for. So if you don't have a barbecue squad of assault rangers, all you have to do is come up with five figures and then there's their stats and their special abilities and the things that they can do. Uh, to help you out, I will also be throwing in this dust catalog. So this will give you an idea of all of the uh, units and features that have been made for the game over time. So if you're trying to find something on the internet, you can go on YouTube and you know what exactly to put into your search. Uh, you know, like I said, or else in the meantime, you can you can do some proxies. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's get to a thousand subscribers so I can actually give it away.